Hi, my name is Jane. I am an independent data visualization designer. And today I'm going to be talking about a quick update on my website. So I initially had a video recorded, but I had some audio issues. So I'm going to be sort of dubbing over it. Um, so I initially, my old website was hosted on GoDaddy and it was built through WordPress. And I initially hired someone to help me set it up through Upwork. Um, and I've had it since, I've had this website since 2016. So they might have used a really old theme at the time to install into my WordPress website. Um, suddenly, a couple months ago, it just started breaking apart. I don't know exactly why. Um, I no longer have access to the old website because I poured in my, I moved my domain over to my new site, but I'm gonna show you how it looks like. So this was how it, the dashboard looked like in the past um, on WordPress and then one day it just suddenly looked like this, like my editor looked like this. So when you go to edit content, you have a page where you can add things, you can upload images, you can, you can write text. Um, it didn't used to look like this. I used to have everything through Visual Composer. And then suddenly it just um, broke apart. I don't know why. Um, and I was pretty fed up at this point because I was paying a lot of money from a website, but things weren't working out. And I didn't really want to keep using WordPress anymore because I always had to struggle learning how to use WordPress. It wasn't always intuitive. It was also very challenging. Um, I'm going to see if I could bring it to that page, but I don't think I can. Okay. doesn't matter. Anyways, this is how, yeah, like this is the, my portfolio page. It was supposed to be a grid initially. And then I had to sort of low, you know, low tech, make it like a, a list. So it, it would still work properly. It, it was really ridiculous in my opinion, but um, let's see, does it move? Yeah, it was just a list. It, it, was, it was so sad. Anyways, so that was my old site. So um, I've been recommended by a friend, um, William Chase, you might have heard of him. He recommended Netlify and Hugo. So Hugo is a static site generator um, and it's free to use. And Netlify is how you would deploy that site. So I'm not an expert in any of this. I don't really know everything and you know, everything about all this and how it works. I just have a very, I just have enough knowledge to work through it. Uh, what I can tell you is that when you use, um, Hugo is just a framework, um, for you to build the website. What happens is you can, you, you would, you would upload it to GitHub. And then through Netlify, it will pull everything from GitHub and then it will deploy it online so that it's available to, in, to the world wide web, right? Um, so Netlify is free to use, um, Hugo is free to use, and so is GitHub, which is fantastic. So in the past, currently I'm still on the plan, but through GoDaddy, I was hosting everything there and I paid about 23 to 24 Canadian dollars per month. I was on like a two or three year plan. Um, that was only recently, before I had SSL certificate uh, before I purchased it, it was probably like 10 or $12 a month, which isn't a lot, which is for me was a really good deal. Uh, but then after I purchased SSL certificate, um, it was really expensive. It just, it climbed like almost doubled. So it, it was really, really ridiculous. And so, um, I was sort of fed up with GoDaddy. I was sort of fed up with WordPress. I was fed up with everything. I was looking for options and Hugo Netlify was recommended to me. And, um, it was a huge, really, really steep learning curve. But I think it was worth it and that I was able to gain a lot more control over what I wanted to do. So this is my current website. Um, and I didn't build it from scratch, so I'm not going to take credit for that. Um, Hugo has a lot of, there's a really great community of users who, you know, give their time for free and create themes for people to use for free. And you can look them up actually. Let's see, Hugo. Yeah, here, Hugo themes. Um, so this is what essentially structure your website and these are all free to use. Um, some of them are blogs, some of them are portfolio, some of them could be CVs. It's a, a huge variety of them. And I used one by uh, HTML5 um, and it's called 40 theme. So this is how it looks like um, out of the box, right? I modified it significantly to fit my own needs. Um, but I had to learn a lot of things to be able to manipulate it at all. So. Everything was built through HTML and then CSS. And um, I have some knowledge of that, like 
prior to building the site, I had some knowledge of HTML and CSS. I know enough to understand what it does and what it's about, but I don't have a lot of knowledge about it. So I still had to Google a lot of things. Um, so keep in mind, I didn't hire anyone for my website. I, I really just like looked up things and um, breaking a lot of things was also important. I, I was like breaking a lot of the website, deleting code to see what wouldn't work anymore, which is really important to do. A lot of it was troubleshooting. Um, it was also very helpful to look at themes of other websites that people have built. So if you if you go into some of these websites and you look at their uh, readme files, they also are, some of them are better at others and documenting how to use a theme. And that helps you learn about how to use Hugo. I think that's also really important. Um, for example, this um, this one, Paper Mod, they had a guide on how to install it. And I had some issues installing the themes initially. I had a lot of trouble starting this thing because I didn't know how to install it, anything at all. I was like, how do I do this? Um, and there's no one way to do this. There's like many ways to do this. And you don't know which one is the right one. So this one, I followed this instructions from this theme that I'm not using, but I was just reading through their documentation and it helped me get everything working. I actually had to reference this at the, at the end because I couldn't upload it to GitHub properly. Um, it was really stressful. Anyways, I will write about this so that if you want to build your own website through Hugo and Netlify, uh, I will provide resources on things I looked up. Once again, I'm not an expert, but I can provide I can provide support and like talking about what I struggled with. Maybe you will struggle with as well. Um, and also, I'm not like I'm not really good with code in general, so I can probably talk from that perspective of like people what thing what what certain things that programmers take for granted, <laughs> like accessing the terminal. I was like, what is this? What's Git? So I had a lot of questions about it. Anyways, so um, Hugo's great, free to use. Um, so is uh, Netlify and um, I was gonna mention cost. So right now, uh, if, I'm use, if I use Hugo and Netlify, I'm only gonna be paying for domain. I don't have to pay for hosting or SSL certificate. SSL certificate is provided through um, Let's Encrypt, which is nonprofit. Um, and that's great. So you know, it, it makes um, it makes it more accessible to a wider population, and you know, I think it's it's a really good thing, and it's really easy to set up. You don't have to do a lot of things to set it up. I believe Netlify set up, sets it up for you really quickly. Um, let's go through this website now. So uh, initially. This is more of a blog po blog post website, blog website, blog site. Um, and I, I had to do a lot of modifications. For example, if you look at the width of this post, it's really, really wide. It's actually not easy to read something like that. Um, if you look at a lot of blog posts, it's really common for people to make it really narrow, make that content, like just squeeze it. And it's just easier to read. So that's what I've done for my website. I've, I've, I've um, really narrowed it down. Uh, the column, and I base this off of mediums, medium.com. So medium is publishing platform, writing platform. And and for them, when you look at the website, it's it's very much like this layout. It's very similar. Uh, what was really helpful about this website was they had a page where they laid out different elements. This is what they call elements of a website. So if you want three columns, you know, this is the code you should use. They have the HTML code listed there. It's really easy to, to use. I can just copy the buttons, you know, they, they break down things like headings. So for some of the themes that Hugo of Hugo, they, if they do a really good job documenting everything, they will provide something like this or they'll teach you how to create it. And I think that's really useful. Yeah. So my website, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, I'm going to be making more changes with it as I, um, create more content, and add things to it. But essentially this is how it turned out. And it was what 80, I probably spent 80 or 90 hours on this. A lot of weekends I spent on this as well. Um, it was a lot of time, but it was well worth it. I do have a lot more control with how the website will look like because I'm, I'm developed, I can develop everything locally. And then I have a lot more control with how it looks like as compared to WordPress, when you have a theme, you can't really change the theme too much. Everything's already determined for you. All you have to do is populate content. But if I wanted to change how the layout was or maybe some of the CSS or HTML, it's really hard to do that with WordPress. It's not as accessible as say through Hugo. So this is just a quick update on that. And um, you know, if you've used Hugo, I'd like to know what your thoughts were on it. And if you have feedback on the website, I'd like to hear that as well. Um, 
I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoy this video. Take care.